in Zanesville. Actually, I was born in Zanesville, Ohio. Um, but Swole Williams, head baseball coach at Finlandia University. Uh, name is Chris Sly, director of athletics here at Finlandia. Steve Nordstrom, I moved over to Finlandia in 2003 and was a women's basketball coach from 2003 to 2007 where we were so fortunate to win the United States Small College National Championship in 2004. I'm back here at Finlandia uh, co coaching men's, men's women's golf. Some of the ways we've been improving is, um, well we bring out, brought in a strength and conditioning coach and I think that's going to be huge for us in the off season so that the athletes have somebody to connect with and work with them. Just recently become NCAA Division III. I know the past two seasons prior to me getting here, they only had one win each um, season, and this year we managed to get six wins. Our first um, time at the Great Southern Athletic Conference where we made it to the semifinals. Um, so we were pretty proud of that, and um, we had eight freshmen coming in this year, and so we're a young program, and I'm going to bring in another big group of freshmen again next year and hope to double, if not triple, our number of wins for next year and win the conference next year. I want to help improve that a little bit and I'm going to try to do that with bringing in some new people, maybe some junior college students that we haven't done in the past and trying to see if we can get some more wins in the future. What the history of the program is and how we're going from here okay. to build it. Um, well the program, uh, like I said, I started back in 1999 and I don't remember how many wins and losses we would have had that season, probably not a whole lot. Um, and since then it's been turned over, there's been a lot of different coaches and it's just recently become NCAA Division Three. I know the past two seasons prior to me getting here, they only had one win each um, season and this year we managed to get six wins. Our first, bring in another big group of freshmen again next year and hope to double if not triple our number of wins for next year and win the conference next year. Uh, Part of the program that we're trying to strive for in the men's and women's golf program um, to take uh, to take a program that's very young and, and put put my own philosophies, my own hard work into it, and, and develop into an NCAA um, competitor. Yeah, I think probably is just getting rid of that air of just being a mediocre team. We need to start winning some games and build some confidence. And we've done that this last year. A couple of teams we lost to early on, we beat later on. That was North Central College and um, Northland. University out of Ashland. Um, those are huge wins for us this year, and I don't think that Finlandia has managed to beat those teams recently in the past. Um, well, one of the ways that I'm trying to get more fans at the games is I'm reaching out to our high school and middle school volleyball population. On our last home game this year, we ran a freshman tournament, and so we ran the first part of the freshman tournament in the morning. Then and, and school spirit, no matter if it is winning or losing, because you're really about uh, helping each other here um, succeed in the classroom and on the court. Some things, you know, you go to a lot of other sporting events or they throw t-shirts into the crowd or I think it was great we had a home game and there was, I believe it was neon theme and so a lot of the students like to do different things like that where they can come and be involved and um, maybe educating them just a little bit on how to cheer at a volleyball game. You know, ha having a, even a small cheering section that, that, that grows with students' um, participation does help and the student athletes do notice it and appreciate it. And I know in the past we've done a bus that shows people from the dorms to the games and that so we might have to look at it maybe getting that started back up. And speak on behalf of athletics and say that we, we would gladly help support that initiative. I think it's wonderful. It's a wonderful concept and idea to say okay we have a relatively close contest i.e. Northland College or someplace else where our teams are participating. And if we can get our student population down, or our, 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 our peer student athletes, uh, that would be a great opportunity for them to continue to support each other. Division three athletics is an outstanding opportunity uh, to con continue to play competitively, learn life lessons, and um, play at a level that's uh, much more competitive than people realize. Um, we're looking forward to a great opportunities here coming in the next several years. Uh, our plan, strategically as an institution, are to add more sport programs and to increase our student athlete profile and so through that we're going to have different sports in which we've talked about here our student athletes and our general students can help support but I think it's also going to help create an environment on campus a student life component that we perhaps haven't had yet and that's going to be I think a, a great turning point for the institution uh, a turning point for all the constituents of our university to really embrace and support one another so I think we're looking forward to some great opportunities ahead 
with the development of our facility infrastructure, with the start of new sport programs. You know, we've talked long and wide about a big men's team sport. Uh, we're going to be adding several others, and so I think that's going to create a great opportunity moving forward. And it's a challenge, and uh, at the same time, it's something that I think we all can embrace and, and look forward to in the future.